year's World Water Day theme, Valuing Water, aims to understand how people value water, be it economically, socially, or culturally, as well as the role it plays in their lives. On average, the Water Research Commission produces 100 research projects annually. In celebrating World Water Day and contributing to this year's theme, we have selected a few of our projects to highlight our contribution towards valuing water. One of the WRC's key projects in addressing food security is the School Food Gardening Project. This was done through participatory school-based vegetable gardens to enhance school feeding schemes and the well-being of children in Mamilodi in the Gauteng province. School-based participatory vegetable gardens are a long-term strategy that complements supplementation and food fortification programs to address hidden hunger. The project established two vegetable school gardens, namely at Bula de Horo and Matlasedi Masana public primary schools in Mamilodi, Gauteng, Pretoria, as a pilot study. In each school garden, training on necessary crop production, seedbed preparation and irrigation maintenance were provided for selected school gardening members of the school. Irrigation systems were installed and selected winter and summer vegetable crops were planted. The WRC has also partnered with rural communities, district municipalities, the government and several other partners as a collaborative way of solving water-related challenges in rural areas and providing access to safe water and better service delivery. One of the districts in which the project was undertaken was the Vambe district. Multiple use services are low-cost, equitable water supply systems that provide communities with water for both domestic needs and high-value agricultural production, including rearing livestock. Partners have stepped in to support communities out of the recognition of the importance of access to water, and such access is vital in improving communities' livelihoods. The project also brings in the angle of the importance of how this is not one organisation or government department's responsibility, but through collaboration and partnerships, the ideal of water for all, leaving no one behind, can be achieved. The WRC does significant work in the environment. One such contribution is the Wetlands Project, investigating the potential of natural cosmetics from South African wetland plants. Wetlands provide an array of valuable services for society and the environment. This project investigated the potential of indigenous South African aquatic plants that are traditionally used. Of the 27 indigenous aquatic plants investigated, three of the plants have been confirmed as holding potential for the treatment of various skin disorders. The WRC has launched a special program on the surveillance of COVID-19 in wastewater. The program was undertaken in collaboration with the DWS, the NICD, the Water Lab, the CSIR, UP, SALGA and several other significant partners. The program has already begun the pilot scale monitoring phase and will move to full scale monitoring phase. A wider network for pilot scale testing has been implemented across predetermined communities in South Africa. The ultimate objective being to determine whether the presence of SARS-CoV-2 in untreated wastewater can be used as an early warning indicator of COVID-19 infections in communities. This is done through collecting raw sewage water from predefined sampling sites and cross-linking this data with the number of infected people in this area as provided in public health data. The work of the WRC expands across the entire value chain in solving grand challenges around water security. The organization was formed in 1971 and has enjoyed 50 years of valuing water. The WRC would like to thank all its partners, stakeholders and the public at large for supporting its vision. To have highly informed water decision making through science and technology at all levels in all stakeholder groups and innovative water solutions through research and development for South Africa and the world. Through our community projects, we hope to be agents of change for years to come. <laughs>